Welcome to another Tech Tuesday at Phytech. Today I'm going to cover synchronizing the throttle bodies on a Phytech tri-power system on this beautiful 58 Impala 348. So the main concept of synchronizing the throttle bodies on the tri-power EFI is to synchronize the airflow from the front and rear throttle bodies together so that uh, they match each other, so that when the center throttle body opens, those front and rears also balance. The middle throttle body can be set so that the IAC steps are correct at the zero to 10 steps when fully warm at idle. The primary tool needed for synchronizing the throttle bodies is one of these carb sync tools. They can be purchased online through other retailers. Um, I also need a screwdriver and a couple of wrenches to loosen and tighten the linkages and uh, of course a nice allen key to get these beautiful air cleaners off. Before adjusting the throttle linkages, be sure to go to GoEFI initial setup, go down to the idle setup, set the idle RPM to what your engine likes for smooth. I'm going to try 680 and adjust to that. And then I'm also going to set the idle screw set EPS0 to adjust. That way, if I open the throttle or move the throttle around a little bit, it still thinks the TPS is closed and doesn't go into any open throttle conditions. If you go to open throttle, the ECU will command a higher idle air control stepper position, allowing more air in, and that can't be adjusted out until it thinks the throttle is closed. This mode forces the throttle position to read 0% open. Before you can begin syncing your throttle bodies, you're going to want to remove the air cleaners. Once the barrels of the throttle bodies are exposed, start the vehicle and place the carb sync tool into the barrels to measure the airflow. The front is reading at about a 4, and the rear is reading at about a 5. To reduce airflow on the back, Jeremy will adjust the throttle screw with a screwdriver. After adjusting it all the way, the airflow still didn't go down, so now Jeremy will adjust the linkage. This did bring it down, but up front we can see that there is an uneven airflow, with one side running close to 6 and the other at 4. To compensate for this, Jeremy will lower the airflow on the back throttle body. After bringing down the airflow at the back, Jeremy will now try to lower it up front. When making your adjustments, avoid over adjusting so you can keep the butterflies from sticking. Be sure to continuously switch between adjusting the screws and the link bar, because adjustments to one will increase tension to the other. You could make adjustments with the link bars disconnected if you wanted, but you would still have to go back and make sure the tension is just right between the three. The adjustment process can get quite tedious as there is a lot of back and forth throughout the process. It may take some time to get all the adjustments where they need to be. In the case of this Impala, it took about 24 minutes. After getting the adjustments to where you want them, you'll secure the lock nuts on the linkage. These keep your adjustments in place. Be careful not to lose your adjustments while tightening them. After viewing the dashboard, you can see it is reading the target idle speed, the AFRs are good, the IAC steps are between three and 10, and there are no fault codes, all of which indicate a properly adjusted tri-power. So I hope you like this video of uh, synchronizing the throttle bodies on the Tri-Power EFI systems. The main points are to synchronize the front and rear for uh, matching each other and then let the center throttle body be the primary airflow for the idle air control. Yeah. Once you're done adjusting all the linkages, make sure you tighten all the jam nuts so that they don't come loose and come out of adjustment. Make sure the linkage operates completely smoothly without any interference from any of the other parts on the engine. 
If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below or contact our tech support or visit our website at www.fitechefi.com and join us again for another Tech Tuesday at Fitech.